All right, first of all, please pardon any messes that you see here. Um, this is our second time out and I haven't done my daily crate cleaning yet. Um, but you can see there's a little bowl in there. I use that whenever I put them in the crate, I just throw some food in there. That's why it stays in there. I also have his water in there. Um, but this example, the thing I would like to show you guys is how I let him or any dog that's really working on structure out of their crate, right? So when I first started working with him a few days ago, um, what I would have to do is keep closing the crate door as his nose would come out. But now that it's the third day, you could see he keeps his nose inside the crate as I, um, as I open the crate door. That's good. The next thing I want to do is I want to pet him. I always give a little bit of a pet. You see how his nose comes out? I just close. Now I have my leash all set up for him. I'll just simply give him a little pet as I slide it on. This might not be the best view. And then from here, everything is set up. And I like to step back. He's not allowed to come out until I tell him it's okay. Right, and I wanna see him just be calm and wait patiently. Okay, buddy. Then he could come out. As soon as he comes out, I like to make a little tension up. He knows that that means that he should put his rear end on the ground, right? And then we walk patiently. Now we're gonna go for a little walk. Um, but for us to move forward at any point, he has to show me calm. If he doesn't show calm, we do not move forward. You see how his body position is leaned forward? I wait till he leans back a little bit. As long as he's leaning forward, he's showing me more energy. There, his position moved back. He moved forward again. And I could just stand here, there. Then we go out. I could just stand there for as long as I choose to. 